you might often wonder what makes a pocket knife comfortable welcome to g-ball vision everyone i hope you are having a fantastic day today and i would like to go over what makes a knife comfortable to me now i know everyone will be different in one aspect or another but i think there are some commonalities across a folding pocket knife that make it comfortable one way or the other and to kick us off i'd like to take a look at the brian brown jaeger m version 2 not only is this a beautiful knife a great edc knife uh everything that you could ever ask for but it is also extremely extremely ergonomic extremely comfortable in hand whether you are just casually holding this knife or if you are really bearing down on this knife and that's how i usually judge ergonomics can I bear down on that knife for an extended period of time and it not start to fatigue my hand anywhere? And first and foremost, I think a backspacer is a huge point in the right direction for almost any knife. I will take the added weight from a backspacer any day, 10 times out of 10, over a little bit of weight saving because of the capabilities of a backspacer and how much it aids in the comfort of the palm of your hand here, it is just a massive difference. Now, there's that's not to say that there aren't some knives that are open construction that are comfortable. There are knives like that out there, and that's just the way it is. But I think across the board, a knife that has a full length backspacer or basically closed construction is going to make that knife extremely comfortable. The second thing is going to be chamfered and softened corners or edges of the knife. And you can see here, everything is nicely knocked down on the edges of this knife, nice and softened up everywhere. It don't matter where you look, there's a nice chamfer all the way around the whole knife, making this extremely, extremely comfortable in hand. And then third, the pocket clip. Does the pocket clip have a bunch of changes in it? You know, the up and down or a swoop or a downward swoop and an over or, you know, just a bunch of changes in direction. Because if it does, that could cause a ton of issues long term or short term. Uh, you know, right off the get go, a knife that has, you know, a downward slope and then an upward slope or a tongue, as I like to call it, could cause a definite issue, in my opinion. What I typically look for is a flatter clip one that doesn't change directions up and down or swoop. Now, sometimes, you know, there's going to be uh, caveats to all this. Some knives, it is possible to have a slope down or up that is comfortable, but I think it's more rare. And I always look for something at least just like this, and I want to bring out another knife, the Tucson TS-195. Now, this is an integral, meaning one solid piece of construction to make the handle. In this case, it is titanium. And that is a, a cool feature of the knife. But the main thing for me is that is basically giving you a full backspacer all the way up to the very last point. Uh, making it extremely, extremely comfortable. And the edge here has been nicely rounded off. And then here's another thing. Looking at this pocket clip, it's nice and wide. It's nice and straight. There's no changing of direction, which means in hand, it should be very comfortable. I don't feel the pocket clip on this knife 
whatsoever. I don't feel the spine of the knife digging into my palm whatsoever. And I don't feel any of the edges of the knife. Now, the Tucson TS-195 is not that expensive of a knife. You can get this knife and have extremely comfortable ergos and the other thing that a pocket clip is going to do or a backspacer is going to do or an integral is going to do is it's going to make it very rigid and very strong there will not be any flex in the handle whatsoever especially if it's a solid titanium knife with a titanium backspacer there will not be any flex to that knife whatsoever it makes it extremely rigid and very comfortable now i want to bring out another one which is a new offering and i think they absolutely nailed it and that is the vostid mayhem or now known as the rs chaos i believe but this is vostid's new compression lock knife in m390 solid titanium handles nice thick slabs of titanium as well and as you can see here everything has been nicely chamfered off nicely softened and although he doesn't go all the way up with this backspacer and for good reason because you this knife you cannot do that so he takes it up as far as he can go but what that does is that is going to lock you in basically to close to the end of your hand uh, as far as the backspacer is concerned. And this thing is extremely, extremely comfortable. The pocket clip is well done. In this case, it's actually a little thinner, but it's nice and flat. And they chamfer the edges of this as well, making it even more softer in hand. And another thing some knives have, some don't, is a finger choil. Now, that is also going to benefit you in the ergonomics department and the control department as far as cutting and holding the knife. It's just going to be extremely comfortable with a nice finger choil. Now, depending on the design, it doesn't call for a finger choil in this case without the flipper you do have a 50 50 area here where you can choke up and it's still very comfortable uh, but a finger choil can be an added benefit especially if it's a full size finger choil now some knives which i'll bring out here that don't have a backspacer complete open construction and what we're looking at is the brass brigade grant tripper and i really like this knife it is a great design it's a great secondary size or a great fifth pocket size but what it is is very small so you look at that knife next to a couple of these knives and you see that it is definitely a smaller statured knife and what that really does is it's very thin in here. It's a little wide here, but not even close to what some of these knives are. Maybe right there, and that's it. There's no backspacer. Uh, the edges are slightly chamfered off, but not, not that great, I would say. The pocket clip is well done, though, in my uh, opinion. But bearing down on this knife is not something that you're going to want to do for very long. Uh, it's, just, it's just not that comfortable. I think the handle is a little too skinny. I don't think it is. It's, it's just a little too skinny. I feel like it's thick enough. The slabs of titanium are thick enough. But it just don't, you know, for my hand. Now, somebody else might think this is a very comfortable knife. But I can feel the spine of the knife digging into my palm here. I can feel this area here 
where the milling is started on the edge of the scale here. I can feel that digging into my hand. Uh, and although I love Jason, he's an awesome dude, and I really like this knife, it is not a good example of what a comfortable knife is. Uh, now, would this knife have benefited greatly from a backspacer? I think it would have. I think it would have really benefited this knife to have, you know, a backspacer that come up here, you know, get rid of the standoffs and do just pin construction or however you wanted to incorporate it. But to bring it up here, basically flush with the pocket clip, I think that would have made a huge, huge difference in the ergos department. Now, for a lighter duty knife or something like that, or just very fine work, uh, this would be fine. But it's not something that I would want to bear down on, you know, for any extended period of time. Now, I want to bring out another one here that only has a quarter length backspacer but is an example of a knife that doesn't have, you know, a half or full length backspacer that is still extremely comfortable. Look at the flat pocket clip that has nice soft edges. Look at the chamfering done here, you know, and this is very nice and rounded and soft. Same on the show side. And then everything is nice and soft. There's nothing, you know, rough or sharp on this knife anywhere. And you have a little bit thicker slabs here for the handle. Very, very well done. The Sparrow Knife Co. Strix. This is the version one. And this is a great example of a knife that doesn't have a full length backspacer that is still very comfortable. You have a nice place to put your thumb here. I would have loved to seen the jimping ran out to the start of the harpoon. That would have been phenomenal. Uh, and I think it would have gave the knife a nice aesthetic as well to run this nice fine jimping to about here or so. It would have really made a difference with this knife. But... It is extremely comfortable and very easy to control. Now, I want to bring out another one, the Wii Exiton. Now, this is another example of basically one solid piece of handle. Now, we did this a little differently. They have some titanium and then they have some carbon fiber. I'm not exactly sure how they were able to fit this together using two different materials and still able to make it one solid piece. Uh, but props to them for doing something like this. But here's an example of a knife that's not titanium. It's carbon fiber. It's very well rounded, chamfered here, chamfered here. You have a nice, flat, straight, milled pocket clip you do not feel that in hand whatsoever this knife is extremely extremely comfortable in hand and you can really squeeze down on this knife and i don't think it would fatigue your hand for quite some time uh, eventually you might start to feel this pocket clip if you're you know i think they sh i don't know if they could or if they couldn't, but if this would have been centered, I think it would have benefited in the ergonomics department. Now, they might not have been able to do that, but because it's here on the spine of the knife, that's a place where you're going to kind of feel that in hand at a certain point. And I think it would be quite a while until you did feel that in hand. But same idea here, although it is a little lower than this one. This one's right up on the spine where this on the Xiphius 
is actually mounted a little lower and it's still very, very comfortable. I think actually I prefer the ergos on this one to this one, even though it is extremely comfortable. I think this one is even more so, and they are very similar in their handle design, uh, very similar in their thickness. And this is another one that is one solid piece here, making it very, very comfortable. You know, you have a nice flat, wider pocket clip here and moving it down just a touch, basically almost centered with the handle makes this very comfortable. They ran the jimping out to this harpoon area here and they gave you a full finger choil which is going to make this thing extremely comfortable. Now, these are very hard to get. Uh, you can no longer get these, but what I want to do is show examples of knives that, you know, are very comfortable and why they're very comfortable. So if you're someone out there who's looking for something that you can hard use and it be comfortable in hand. A backspacer is something that you're really going to want to look for or some sort of integral or something very similar to what you see here. Now, if that is not your taste, if you prefer something without a backspacer, then I would look for something that has a little thicker of a handle and definitely has very soft chamfered edges like the Strix here. And we could go over these different ergos for a few days and still not cover everything. But I just wanted to get a few knives out and go over some of the characteristics of a knife that is comfortable and a knife that isn't as comfortable as others are. Uh, and that's not a knock on this knife. This knife, I don't know that it's meant to be a hard use knife, you know, and I don't think it is. This is kind of meant to be a secondary knife, uh, kind of like a detail oriented knife, I think. Uh, so it's not a knock on this knife. It's just, it's just the design itself and how everything is laid out. You know, you have a little rougher edges here, uh, you know, open construction, the slant of the knife here. It's just, that's just the way it is. Uh, but give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you are new here, click the subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. I'll throw up two new videos that you should definitely go check out. Otherwise, I will catch you on the next one.